there, Rockies fans. This is Andrew Martin with PurpleRow.com. And for those of you who've been watching regularly, I'm not at my house. You're getting the tour of someone else's house tonight. Anyhow, we're just going to stand right here. How's that sound? We're talking about the number five starter competition going on in the Rocky Spring training. Okay, so this, for starters, our number one starter on opening day is looking to be Jeremy Guthrie from Baltimore. So far this spring, i got stats in front of me here, so don't uh, please excuse me uh, looking off the site here. If my computer turned back on. Hm, just kidding. Oh, it's back. Hooray. So Jeremy Guthrie has pitched seven innings so far in his two starts, and he's a 3.86 ERA, struck out three, and allowed no walks. Um, Julius Chassin is a number two, 3.60 ERA, and has five innings of work and two starts. Uh, has struck out four, walked one. Uh, let's see, as far as the other pretty much guaranteed members of the rotation, uh, Drew Pomerantz has yet to allow a run in his five innings of work, which is pretty fantastic. Juan Nicasio, who has finally gotten back to action, also didn't allow a run in his first outing, which went three innings. But the number five starting spot is still in question. Now, entering spring training, it sounded like the favorite was going to be Guillermo Moscoso, acquired from Oakland in exchange for Seth Smith. Well, the problem with that is that Moscoso and Josh Outman Neither of them have really impressed so far. Uh, Josh Outman and Moscoso are both posting high ERAs. Moscoso at 7.2 and uh, Josh Outman at 9. Not the kind of numbers that are going to impress a manager. I mean, granted, there could be more to their game that they're missing, but it just we've seen a lot of home runs. We've seen inconsistent you know, strike zone um, awareness, things like that. But the guy who is seeming to make a lot of strides toward that number 5 spot is Jamie Moyer. Now, everybody's talking about him coming into spring training because he's a big deal. He's 49, and he's still pitching in the major leagues. Well, it looks like he's actually kind of, you know, putting his money where his mouth is. So far, Jamie Moyer has pitched five innings in two different games with a 1.80 ERA. He struck out three and walked none and allowed no home runs. The one run he did allow, it was a uh, single and then a double down the line, but both of them stayed on the ground. So it's one of those, you know, it happened, it counts, but it's not going to be the end of the world. For Moyer. Now, what's interesting about Moyer is he said that he hasn't busted out his cut fastball yet. He says that his arm strength isn't quite where he wants it to be, that to throw the cutter effectively, you need to have your arm strength up. And he figures maybe in the next outing or two, he'll start to bust out the cutter so he can work in on right handed hitters. So that's where it is right now. And honestly, the way things are looking, I think the Rockies are going to go with J Jamie Moyer unless he absolutely implodes in the next two weeks here. Just because he's a veteran, because it's an interesting story, he's a leader, he's. All the veterany things that we like to hear about. So good for Moyer, and I'm hoping the rest of the guys can either make a solid bullpen conversion or can at least, you know, do a good enough job hanging on in Colorado Springs so they might be next in line for a call-up in the event someone goes down. we got to remember, too, that in May or June, somewhere in there, Jorge De La Rosa is going to be back, and that's going to take another rotation spot there, and that's going to be pretty crowded there. So my prediction for opening day, the rotation is going to be Guthrie, Chassin, Pomerantz, Nicasio, Moyer. Let's see what happens, Rockies fans. We'll catch you all next time.